perfect launch. And a controlled drop. This is as good a descent as it's possible to make. Its parents are there to meet it. A little dazed, perhaps, but all in one piece. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin market cycle just to remind everybody that uh, infinito wallet they're going to give away free eos account so right now uh, if you want to create eos account you probably have to pay 15 bucks uh, just to create an account depending on the price of ram the price of ram has dropped uh, quite a bit because of the block producer they decide to increase the supply of ram so uh, Infinito is going to give away some free EOS account on August 6th to August 8th. And uh, you can join the Telegram group to uh, check it out. So I create my free EOS uh, account using Meet.1 uh, invitation code. Uh, unfortunately, Meet.1 no longer give out invitation code. Uh, but they, you never know, they may reopen it uh, later, at a later time. So, so take advantage of this opportunity to create a free EOS account. So uh, today, once again, is the weekend, is the dumb again. Almost every single weekend is a dumb. And you can see some greens in here and all that. Those are pretty small coin. Uh, just be very careful. There's a lot of pump and dump activity for those uh, small coin because the volume is not enough. Basically, you can use a pretty small amount of money just to pump up uh, those uh, small coin and then they probably will dump it again once they uh, reach the target price. Uh, just be very careful out there. And we talk about uh, Bitcoin, uh, when Bitcoin I think about 74,000, I think 76 or something. And we talk about the support level is 74 and then the next support is 72. And right now the next support will be 68. So do you think, uh, Bitcoin will be uh, falling like that, this little goose. But eventually the goose is fine, right? So, and um, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, so you don't miss out any upcoming airdrop uh, giveaway or half for ICO. And also, um, you're probably familiar with this uh, Wall Street cheat sheet, right? So the Wall Street uh, cheat sheet um, is basically uh, going through the uh, life cycle of the um, of the all the uh, every market is uh, similar to like this. At the beginning, <clears throat> it's a disbelief. This rarely uh, will fail like the others. So they disbelieve that there's a rarely coming up. And then uh, when they go 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 to the second phrase, is hope. Hey, a recovery is possible. And then. Uh, the next stop is will be optimism. Hey, this rally is real, and the next uh, the next uh, cycle is a belief is a hey time to get fully invested, and at some point last year probably we go through all this right, and then at some point is a thrill. I will buy more on margin. Got to tell everybody to buy, and at at the peak probably at twenty thousand uh, Bitcoin last year, 
is euphoria. I'm a genius. We are going to be rich. We are going to get my Lambo, and we are going to the moon and all that. So after the twenty thousand, um, the uh, uh, the Bitcoin go back down, and also at the same time, remember the future market. Uh, Bitcoin future market is also introduced around December. Uh, after the um, future market introduced, uh, people can uh, you have the opportunity to short Bitcoin and and the market go back down. Once the future market uh, introduced, it go back uh, go back down. Is this is very similar to the silver and gold market as well? I talked about that in uh, probably a few months ago, and um, after they introduce all the uh, commodity future market like silver, gold, or uranium. Then the um the price of all go downhill. So so the next uh, cycle is I call uh, com complacency. Hey, we just need to cool off for the next rally. Hey, remember at the beginning of this year, hey, uh, they will say, oh, Chinese New Year. We wait uh, after the Chinese New Year, we are going to go back to rally, right? And then we talk about um because also the consensus. Hey, is after the consensus, we are going back to a full uh. A crypto rally and also uh, the tax seasons right and after the uh, tax refund we get the money will people will come and buy uh, Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency will go back to rally and now we talk about the Bitcoin ETF right so we have so many so many reasons to pump right but at the end right now uh, it doesn't happen right so the more they talk about that in the media in the mainstream media the more it will it may not happen so just be very careful uh, a lot of youtubers talk about hey the bitcoin etf bitcoin etf and all that just be very careful i'm not i'm not trying to spread fun i'm just saying that um you got to be uh think uh critically in terms of like um what's going on in the market and all that and you you got to do your own research you cannot just listen to um uh, all all the youtubers including me you shouldn't listen uh just uh, my opinion you should uh, do your own research and you have to um, do some critical thinking <clears throat> and then the next uh, and then after it go, go back down it become anxiety why am i getting margin call this dip is taking longer than expected and then go further down and say denial my investment are with great companies or great projects they will come back they will come back right and then uh, we go to a stage as panic oh should everyone is selling i need to get out and capitulation is basically i'm 100 uh, percent uh getting out of the market i can't afford to lose money it's basically uh, panic selling and everything <clears throat> so panic selling is here and then capitulation 100 percent out of the market and then uh, anger who who shot the market why did the government allow this to happen so and then depression uh in this phrase is say um my retirement money is lost how can we pay for all this new stuff i'm an idiot and then when the uh, when the uh, rally come back it's just this this belief hey this is a suckers uh, suckers rally so uh, all the market cycle go through the same thing you go through all this cycle so um when you go to uh coin market cap so um all this cycle we document probably uh it's already uh talk about it in the wall street sheet uh, cheat sheet and you can see um you have uh, all the cycle you go to euphoria you can you go to frill and then you go to euphoria and then you go complacency and then despair and all that crap and then you go all the way down so right now what do you think which cycle are we at right now uh, when you go back to the uh, oops, when you go back to the Wall Street uh, cheat sheet, so what cycle are we in right now? Are we in denial? Are we in panic? Or are we in cap uh, capitulation? Are we in anger stage? Or are we in depression stage? Please comment below what um cycle we are at right now. That would be interesting to hear from you guys. So you can go to the coin market cap. You don't have to be too complicated. Go to coin market cap, and then you just um, go to the uh, Wall Street cheat sheet, and then you can probably estimate what's the life cycle we are at right now. 
and also uh, super crypto talk about the um, when uh, Bitcoin was twenty thousand, he called for ninety five percent correction, and so far we have seventy percent. Uh, so far we have seventy percent. The final capitulation is yet to happen. Stay tuned. So this is uh, this article that he talk about is on February first. So um, that was a while back, and I think a lot of people are very uh, are not very happy when he wrote that back uh, when uh, everybody is so euphoria, saying that uh, when it is twenty k, it uh, it was shooting up to fifty k or even hundred k or whatever, and he I think he he. He got it right, right? And, the, um, and I also talked about this article probably a few months ago about the uh, pri uh, Bitcoin uh, price manipulation, cartel, and price suppressions and all that. And also with the Bitcoin future, um, the price is, uh, very, uh, is very suppressive uh, at this time. And another thing is um, Bitcoin ETF. Uh, so do, do you ever think about why Bitcoin... Um, Future uh, have no uh, have no issues for approval, and why Bitcoin ETF has so many issues uh, for approval, and it got rejected once and uh, so many times. And for Bitcoin Future, it seems like uh, you never heard about uh, any issues, right? So, do you think this is a pr uh, um, a price suppressions, and um, and other things? Even though after you introduce the Bitcoin Futures, and do you think they really really hold whatever bitcoin they claim to be and look at the gold future so the gold future uh people are asking like right now gold future if you go to um um for example uh, gld gld is one of the uh is is the etf for uh the gold right so uh people is questioning them whether they hold all the gold they claim and this is a good question so you have to ask yourself even though they introduced the etf do they really really hold all the bitcoin they they need to hold or they hold only a frictional amount so you have to ask uh, yourself all these questions based on uh the past uh, uh whatever actions they have taken for example the gold etf do you think they hold all the gold to create this etf um or they own only fractional amount of gold for the gold ETF, uh, which is GLD. So you can, uh, you have to think about all this question, not just believe in what the mainstream media tell you. You got to do your own research. You could, you got to have your own critical thinking. So uh, that will be interesting to see how it goes. Also, uh, yeah, today, uh, ooh, it was 7,000, let's go down further. So, um, it doesn't look good but anyway uh i don't want to create fun but this is just my take on it and if you i mean don't think things too complicated just look at the uh market cycle uh where are we at right now so based on the market cycle you can determine where are we right now are we in anxiety denial panic or capitulation or anger or depression or disbelief stage uh, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. What do you think? Uh, what market cycle we are at right now? That will be interesting to see. And um, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, smash the like button. This will help my ranking in YouTube. And I will continue to co uh, provide quality video for you guys. Also, uh, share with your friends as well. And also, you can follow me on Twitter. I follow a lot of under the radar project and um, yeah so you can check it out uh, and 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 also I create that uh, I think I put that video for the flying flying goose it's not flying chicks it's a flying goose at the end the flying goose is fine so let me know what you think do you think after all this uh, free fall everything will be fine so let me know please comment I would like to hear from you and uh remember crypto deep divers we the people take control of our money stay wise stay safe peace i'm not a financial advisor investing in ico or cryptocurrency has inherent risk please use your, use your due diligence